Well, hello everybody. How are you today? It is Sharon Hankins here, uh, ready for another DIY project. Let me know where you're watching from. If you're watching the replay, you've got a chance to win a prize in the 24 hours after we've gone live by commenting the word replay in the comments. So hi Mickey, how are you? If you do see the little red live button in the corner, that means you're live right now. Um, just checking our essential stencil page here, make sure I can see my live and see all the comments. So let me know where you're watching from, how's the weather in your area, it's t-shirt and shorts weather here still in Australia in Queensland. We are in our fall or autumn season right now, so you guys in the USA have just started spring, I'm pretty sure, well spring kind of weather hopefully. Hi Dominica and Bobby and Cindy, hello, how are you today? Um, we're going to be doing a couple of sign projects today and uh, I thought I'd mention too, don't forget that you may have seen a sneak peek of a patriotic collection coming very soon. Just wanted to remind you to use my code, I restore stuff. So when that collection um, comes as a bundle, I think it's dropping, oh and I've forgotten when it's dropping, but Essential Stencil will let us know. Uh, very soon, very soon. You'll see coming soon on the site, but you'll be able to see on the website all those beautiful patriotic uh, stencils coming soon. Don't forget, you can use my code IRESTOREStuff whenever you see an essential stencil sale and you can get an extra 10% off the already sale price or already bundled price. So it's really worth it. Hello, did I see Renee here? Hi Renee, my friend um, and fellow stenciler. Kathy's here, Dominica's here. April 4th, thank you Dominica, April 4th it will be dropping the patriotic um, bundle. So I'm going to be, I haven't got the bundle myself yet so we will be showing that when we get it but I did want to do something patriotic this morning so we'll be doing a sign of those. <laughs> Renee says hi Sharon, Olive and friends, Olive is over in her little crate this morning, she's being very good girl being quiet and I also wanted to do a sign using this, I think this was one of our Essential Stencils first layered type ideas on stenciling is this gorgeous one piece set, well it's actually a bonus two piece. Um, he left the 99 to rescue me, I want to be using that and it's got this bonus little layer so you can do the, the wool on the lamb and the features or you can just use it as a solid colour like that. So. I'll be doing that today, so let's get started. I might start, now what I want to show you too is that we've, um, um, I'm using some recycling some signs that I had in my shop and this is just a plywood board. This is quite a thick heavy ply board, but I had a hook on it and everything already. So I just painted over it black. First if I've stenciled a sign and it's not selling in my shop, uh, for whatever reason, I don't know, sometimes, look, I'm in Australia and so <laughs> my patriotic signs may not sell here in Australia because they're for the USA, but you never know because I do get occasionally from my, um, from my shop some people from USA who have moved to Australia or they're here on holiday or they see one of my signs and they actually buy them. So that, but that's an example of something that might not sell for a long time. But anyway, you never know who your customers might be. If you're a maker and you're a, a seller, sometimes you just have to wait for the right customer, am I right? But anyway, for whatever reason, sometimes I might not like the colours that I've made something in, whatever. And so I've decided to redo the sign. So I'll sand it back a little bit. I don't have to sand it all back. And then I'll just repaint it in a different colour. So this is, I've just done an all black using Fusion's coal black. So I do use a bit of Fusion mineral paint products only because I'm a retailer for that paint over here in Australia but I do have a discount code for you to use um, also so you can get 10% off using my code irestorestuff at fusionmineralpaint.com forward slash I think it's Sharon or shop Sharon or something but I'll, I've got the link right there in my in the comments or in the description of the live. Here's another board I'll be using for my patriotic sign today and I wanted to also show you uh, these, if you don't have these already, the patriotic transfers, the patriotic florals, they are going, they're going to go great with the patriotic bundle that is coming out April 4th. So uh, if you don't have these already, these are single use, so, but they come in two sheets of lovely designs. There's 
from great big large designs to smaller designs with the flag and there's even some beautiful red, white and blue flowers without the flags on them. So you've got these, oh they're bluebells, adorable bluebells and uh, so on. So they wouldn't even have to necessarily be for a patriotic sign. So here in Australia I might just want to use one of those because yeah. I could replace the little USA flag with an Australian flag, couldn't I? All right, so we'll be doing something with that today and this little stencil set, which is America six pack. So this is not from the new bundle that's coming out April 4th. This is an oldie but a goodie and a great patriotic six pack. Uh, it's got some great stencil signs. I'm gonna be using this one today. God shed his grace on thee. And we've got faith, family, freedom, any of these would go great with your uh, patriotic um, florals. United we stand. There is the stars, which would go great as a background even for some of the, some of the things we're doing. America, land of the brave. And the last one, happy 4th of July. So that's a cute sign. You might want to, some of these minis are really great for say your front door wreaths and just make a tiny little plywood wood sign to just pop in there and hang it within your wreath, glue it in there, stick it in there, use something that'll just tie it in there so it's temporary and you can change the seasons. Um, so those are great size for that. So if you don't have those yet, grab that bundle pack and all the, the, uh, the links for that are in the description of the live. Hello, Tammy's here, Jan Janice is here. And um, hi, Denise, hi, Beth. So great to see, and Diana's here watching, and Jan Janice is watching from Ocala, Florida. I have not heard of Ocala. Okay, let's get started. I wanna do something fun too with a metallic today. That's a fusion metallic, fusion mineral paint metallic called Pearl. So I've done the background of my signboard in black and I wanted to just add a pearl finish to that. So let's get started on that right away. I'm just going to zoom you down here. Hopefully my stand is tight enough where I've, it's not going to move. I had to shift it around a bit today. So I've got this one and it's Fusion's Pearl Metallic. Fusion Mineral Paint, the label has changed. This is a very old label, so ignore the label. It will have something that's kind of quite a little bit more Fusion branded. Uh, but this is Fusion's Pearl Metallic and you can get that using um, at 10% off using my code I Restore Stuff or the link that's right there in the description of the live for any of the Fusion Mineral Paints. All right, so I'm gonna be using this one and I'm going to add some, um, I also thought, and I was going to do this and I might still do it. Now this one is sold out. So guys, I'm sorry, but you can't get this one. It has sold out. It's the three layered Christmas churches. So maybe if you did want this, you can go down, go to this item on Essential Senses page and they may have on there a little thing that says, um, please tell me when this is back in stock. You can do that with some of their, um, I think with all of them, there's a little button that you can press if you want to see that or be notified when that's back in stock and that lets them know it's really popular for whatever stencils or transfers you are wanting and then they make reproductions of those so they do another run. Uh, because this is a Christmas item though it has sold out at the moment they may be getting these back at Christmas but do let them know if that's something that you would like. I just feel like that would work great here and I think I might still do it okay so I'm just letting you know this one's sold out but we might add on, that on there and we're going to put some kind of one of the transfers in the middle. But first I just wanted to add a bit of a layer of pearl. I just felt like I wanted a little bit of bling on here, okay? So who's with me? Who likes a little bit of bling? Now the pearl colour, it will still see the black in the background of it. Um, unless you do a really solid, uh, you know, several layers of it. But we're just going to dip it our brush in today and give it a bit of a just a feel of some metallic so look at that I do like a bit of a bit of um, distressed look metallic how about that I may add some more and you could start with a little bit and then 
I've got some dried paint on my brush. And then add some more if you think you need some more. And maybe the video uh, on, the, on the screen, it may not show up as metallic as it is, but I hopefully can catch some light on that and you can see how gorgeously, gorgeously metallic it is. <laughs> So we're just starting out like this and as I said you could make this a little bit more solid if you wanted to. This is kind of quite thick probably because it's a very old pot of pearl. I don't like to throw things out. So even if because it's a water-based paint you can add a touch of water to your paint. I think I'm going to have to add a little bit more. And this is uh, messed up my plan to do this stencil in white because that's not going to stand out against a pearl background, is it? Because it's come on quite thick. I do like that we can still see a little bit of the black in the background. Now if you wanted to do this to your edges also, so you could do less, you could do more, depending on your taste. So we've still got black edges on there. If you wanted to, you could just carry this across to your edges there. And this is Fusion's Metallic Pearl. And I've got a link for Fusion Mineral Paint in the description. And if you use my code there, you can get 10% off. <clears throat> code is I restore stuff for essential stencil too. So if you are wanting any of the stencils or the brushes or anything that we're using today, please use my code. Uh, yes, Pat says, could you spritz with water to thin the paint out a little? Yes, you can. You can definitely do that. And that would help with that sort of chunky look that you get when I first put the brush down. You can do that as you're, as you're painting it. But I do like that sort of rustic look. And with the sort of unfinished and it's just a gorgeous metallic. I do see the shimmer. I hope you see the shimmer there. So that's Fusion Mineral Paint in Metallic Colour Pearl. All right, finished with that brush and I will, let's just pop that in a plastic bag. I may use a bit of shimmer somewhere else today, who knows. <clears throat> All right, so I, I am going to use, oh, you know what I did forget is um, some offloading cardboard. I always have a piece of cardboard right here to offload my paint onto, but I'm just going to use my paper background here today because I didn't get um, the cardboard. All right, so looking at some stencil brushes here, I'll probably be using a dark or a, a black today. And I didn't grab my... I wonder if my... Just a minute, guys, hold tight. I'm going to see if my, um, my mic cable will reach into the garage where I've left my coal black Fusion Mineral paint. I can just reach it, you guys. So I'm just going to use coal black to go on top of the pearl because it would um, stand out a bit more against the pearl. Because I had thought, oh, yeah, I'll do black on the, I mean, I'll do white on the black background, but of course that's not going to work with pearl over the top of it. Laurie said, you just got on, missed the beginning. That's okay, you can watch on the replay. The shimmer that we're using is um, Fusion's Color Pearl. So I'm going to be using this pack here and it's called America Six Pack. It's not from the brand new bundle dropping soon. It's from an old, um, it's an older stencil, but if you don't have this one, great set to have because there's six different patriotic things in there that you can use. Now I will... We'll be also using this church set, which is three layering Christmas churches. And this is another layer 
one that we're going to be doing today. Now this one, set, as I said before, it's sold out, but if you do go there, you can let them know that you're interested in, um, you want to know when that's coming back in again. So I'm going to pop the church down the bottom and then it's got a layer that goes over the top. Then I'm going to put some patriotic something or other right in here. I think it'll look great against the metallic. We want a flag in this one. God shed his grace on the, let me see, I think this might fit. If it doesn't, I'll go for a smaller, smaller floral. And this is perfect. So that's going to fit perfectly around about there. If I have the church about there and that about there. Now the metallic has dried fairly quickly. We only did a very thin layer on that. So I'm using Fusion's Coal Black here to just do my stencil with. So it's just a black and white. You could use a blue to make it stand out like as in the patriotic theme. I don't know. I just feel like the black will stand out a lot better. So we're going to dip our brush into the black paint and I'm just going to use this paper here to offload my paint onto. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to move it as far away as I can because I've got a couple of signs to do today and I don't want to put my signs in it. Vic says, I just got my butterfly transfers today. Butterfly ones, was it? I missed it. Sometimes the comments just disappear all of a sudden. All right, so we will go with our words up the top here. And we're just doing a nice swirling motion. Now, the reason I can do that nice swirl is because I've got hardly anything on the brush. If I had any more on my brush, that swirling movement would make the paint bleed underneath the stencil and you'd get fuzzy edges. We don't want fuzzy edges we want nice crisp edges so make sure that you've got hardly anything on the brush sometimes I see in the comments people saying I don't know I I wipe off my brush like you do and I still get I still get bleeding and fuzzy edges under my stencil and I will say to you it's it is definitely because you've still got too much on the brush so sometimes we think we've offloaded as much as we can. So I think I've offloaded some there. We'll look over here. I can still offload some more. So it's better to have a lot less on your brush and then do, if you have to, you could do a second coat on that uh, rather than having too much on the brush and having those fuzzy edges underneath. So that's my tip for you. I will do a little bit more of a second coat. Um, I can see that it's yeah, you want to do, when your second coat, when you're doing your second coat, make sure it's properly dry underneath. So sometimes it's better to wait until it's dry, or you could hit it with the hairdryer. <coughs> oh, Sherry says you've been really lucky. You've never had a bleed. And you swear it's the brushes. I know the brushes are really good. And uh, so as long as you do offload them, you won't have any problems. The stencil brushes, this is a three quarter inch brush and they are essential stencils, stencil brushes. They come in four different sizes. They come in a whole pack of four. And so I use the larger brushes for large surface areas that you know you need more, um, more paint coverage. And I use the really small one for tiny letters. So this one's about one of the medium sizes. Just going over this top bit a little more. I want that to stand out. And there we go. So let me show you that. We've got nice crisp edges around the stencil area. <clears throat> now if you wanted to use the bridging brushes, Essential Stencil also has these bridging brushes. These are great for filling in the little tiny the little bridges. So you dip that in a little bit of black paint. I'm not going to do that today. I just, I don't mind having the little bridges there, but they're also great for details and other things that you might want to fill in. So they come in a set of six. And um, so here's the churches. Now, like I said before, don't go looking for them and get very disappointed. They are sold out. But if you do find them on the website, 
you'll be able to say, hit a button that says, please tell me when these come back in stock because they're so great. And I think they go great with this God shed his grace on thee with the church and then the transfer in the middle. It's going to look great. So these ones are out of stock, but you can go there and let Essential Stencil know by hitting this some little button that says, please tell me when these are back in stock or something to that effect. Cheryl says they don't have the detail brushes anymore. Oh, they should have them. They may just be out of stock. I believe. Now I'm just going to look at this little area down here because I'm using this um, brush. I feel like I need to just take that off because I might get it over the edge of the stencil. So what I'm going to do first is just pop that, I don't know if you can see my apron here, I'm just putting it on the apron and that collects a little bit of fluff from my apron so that it doesn't stick too much on my newly freshly painted surface. Okay, I think I've got that in the center. And now for this one, it's got a large surface, so you could use a large brush for this, but because I've already got black paint on this brush, I'm not going to bother dirtying another brush just to create, um, just so that I can do that larger surface. I'm just going to go ahead and use this one. And so we just are moving in from the edges, but you could leave a little bit more on your brush and just get rid of that in the center and then move onto your edges there. Now with these lines that are going this way, the church roof, I'll sometimes just kind of move lengthways like this. So this set is called Three Layering Christmas Churches and they are sold out at the moment. But if you did want those, you can let Essential Stencil know. Oops, I've created, I forgot to let my first coat dry and it's actually pulling off the first coat when I try and do a second coat. So what I do need to do, there's a little tip for you, you do need to dry that off. Oh, and I haven't got my hair dryer plugged in. <clears throat> um, so yeah, just make sure that first coat is really dry before you put the second coat on. So right now I'm just gonna hit that with the dryer. Holly, glad you caught tonight. Need some inspiration to get back to stenciling. Good on you. I'm glad you joined us. Hope you get lots of inspiration. We are live every weeknight about 7 p.m. showing you all the tips for our stencils and transfers. I'm going to be using transfers in a minute too, so you can get to see that. Um, and if you missed anything, if you've just joined us, please catch the replay and you'll see the start where I've used this shimmery pearl metallic to go over a black surface, a black background. Oh, thank you Vic. <laughs> yes, you can use the regular detail brushes. Oh yes, you can use other detail brushes. The essential stencil ones are great though. Like, now that is all dry, so now I can add a second coat to that to just make sure that black is really solid. Really solid on the background. And I've just taped off the bottom there because it's kind of close to the edge. Okay. <laughs> All right, so now I lift this one up. This is a layering stencil. So we've got our tape, we can take that off and use that again for something else. That's the first layer and then each of these comes with another layer as well. I'll be showing you a couple of layering things this week. I mean, this, this live. So there's the nice crisp edges on the church building because I've made sure that I've got very little on the brush. We'll get that with the hairdryer, make sure that's all dry. Now, our feature that we want to go on top, we could do it white or we could do it with this pearl metallic and make sure those, so the windows stand out. I might even do that. I might do that with the, the pearl. So I've gone over that with the black. <coughs> yeah, Vicky said you finally got a set of metallic paints. With the Fusion metallics, they also come in a tester size, a really small size and honestly that's enough if you're stenciling that's unless you're painting something huge like a piece of furniture in metallic you really don't need these great big pots 
and um, it's quite cost effective if you just get the smaller pots and they're perfect to fit the stencil brush inside the smaller tester sizes so I think they're like 37 mils or something like that the tester size so don't forget to use my fusion code if you do want the fusion mineral paints and you can um, find that link in the description of our live here tonight it might be in the pinned comments with the stencils together with the stencils I'm using tonight okay so it does have I don't know if you can see that little etched area around the outside it has a little bit of etching so you can line that up exactly where it needs to be on here and I've got that lined up now I'm going to change brushes because we want to use I'm just going to wrap that in a wet cloth we want to use a different brush for this and we're going to open up this pearl metallic again pearl and I'm just using one of the smaller brushes a half inch brush I've got a big blob of that pearl on my brush hello Olive thank you for letting me know the post has arrived I'm going on their little trip around the neighborhood so of course she has to bark okay so I've just offloaded a lot of that I'm, just, I'm not taping this one down I can hold this one and then I'm just going to go over the top of the windows and then we'll add a gorgeous transfer for the middle of this and I think that will work out beautifully oh, Brenda says how is Olive she's doing great She's, um, we've had a rainy week here this week and she does not like toileting outside on the grass when she just doesn't like getting her feet wet on the wet grass so that has been a challenge to find her a little spot on our back patio that we can put down a little fake grass thing so that she can go because anyway so it was all sunshine and roses this morning when we woke up the rain had stopped um, everything was looking wonderful outside she pounced and pranced around outside in the sunshine she just loved it so needless to say she toileted outside today there we go so you can see the door just blends right in down there at the bottom the doorway with the pearl metallic background because we use the same color as the background so that's the layered church and I'll just pop that there and now we're going to add our floral our patriotic floral this is from the transfer set patriotic florals and if you don't have this one yet grab those because they're going to go really well with your brand new patriotic bundle that's dropping April the 4th um, there's so many different gorgeous designs here I've just cut this one out because I think that'll go perfectly there but there's some others to choose from I think it's about the same size as it's a nice size to that one. Oh, this one has a little bow I do like that all right, so we just need a bit of a transfer tool here yes Mary says the church looks like it has the lights on yeah so if you do want that church one just make sure you go to the product uh, page for that and let them know that you'd love to know when it's back in stock all right so hopefully this all turns out nicely on our background here painted silver and here it goes perfect spot so we've taken off the background of the transfer I just removed that if you've never seen transfers before um, or if you've never used yours maybe you've ordered some and you're still too scared to use them come on guys let's let's get those on the projects let's get them making making let's make them look beautiful so we're just lifting that now so we get the plastic and you can start lifting that off once you've once you've uh, rubbed it with either a tool or you can use a store card something like that hi Mary thanks for joining us Look, guys don't forget to share our lives we love it when you sprinkle our lives around uh, Facebook world or you know you can hit the share button there's so many different ways, ways to share it today you can even share the link to a private message to somebody um, phone message them however you want to do it I know a lot of you have friends who love to craft and DIY so why not let them know uh, some extra tips on stenciling or crafting 
And don't forget to use my code iRestoreStuff there and you can grab 10% off anything. That includes the new bundle that will be dropping next week. I cannot wait. should have mine by my live next week. In fact, I think my live. Let's see. What's the date? The 4th... <coughs> The fourth is my, is oh no, it's not my live day. I get confused. The fourth is Thursday, um, but I will be going live on the Wednesday night. Um, Tammy will be going live on the fourth, I believe, if that's still correct. But I will have these um, to demo. If my shipping tracking is correct, I can't wait to receive my bundle. I'll have to show you. Keep an eye out on my page, I Restore Stuff. So you'll be able to find me on my I Restore Stuff page. And I will do an unboxing. How about that? If you follow me on Instagram, I'm over there too. I Restore Stuff. At I Restore Stuff on any of the, any of the social platforms. YouTube. Any of them. Pinterest. Who's on Pinterest? Oh, look, I'm even on TikTok, but I'm not very active over there right now. I had a few things on there and um, got a few videos over there, but then I slackened off. Can't do everything, can we? All right, I think we've got it. One little spot. There we go. So if there is a little bit of a fleck of the picture, the image still stuck to it, you just lay it back down, rub that surface until it re is removed from the back. So that's that, and it, I love how that just seamlessly goes with the rest of the picture. And God shed his grace on thee. We've got a little church there. Um, love that. Okay, so that's our first sign for today. And now I'd love to show you this other layered sign, which is also available now. And we're going to be using this re, I'm upcycling an old sign, have painted the background. I'm doing you some black backgrounds today to show you um, some ideas for painting on black backgrounds. I love the way that they turn out. So this, I think this was one of our first layered type designs. Hi Lisa, so you finally made it to a live. It's been a while. Oh my darling, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry that happened to you. So welcome to our live for those of you who've just joined us. And um, we're doing He Left the 99 to Rescue Me. Now, if you've noticed, it's not going to fit the scripture verse down here, Matthew 18, 12, which I'm okay with that. You could, if you wanted to, put it somewhere else, like up the side here afterwards. You could put it up the side here. You could put it up the top or you could just leave it off. It's okay. Um, it doesn't really matter I don't think so if you did want to tape this down uh, you know you can get your tape which I should have showed this last week when I was trying to do something you can roll your tape up and put it underneath so that's the idea so we we'll just pop that in behind here anywhere then we'll center that to where we want it to be and then we're going to use white and this is the little bonus lamb that'll go layer over the top to add to add the fur on the, the details. The details. I'm using Picket Fence, which is Fusion Mineral Paint's brightest white. And let's see. This is a three-quarter inch brush. We may even have the pink brushes left. They were selling them in October last year for um, breast cancer awareness. <clears throat> they may still have some of those left. Or obviously there's the um, the blue sets are still there. All right, now I'm going to offload this onto my paper. I don't need to offload a lot, so I've got this whole surface area in here. So I will be using the center part to put most of it down first because I've got a big load on my brush, and then I'm going to come in from the edges. I can probably do some swirling now. I should have brought, I do have a wet cloth to pounce it on. If you, I'm feeling like that paint is quite dry in the pot. So I've just, I don't want to wet my brush. 
but I'm just dampening it on this wet cloth here. And coming in from the edges and I do like that we can do a bit of a swirly motion and it sort of gives the appearance of curly wool you know if you do this swirly motion on your oops we're just taking a little bit of that paint it does need to be a bit it's a bit tacky my paint is the it's the last bit in the pot and so it's kind of now I'm moving it around and messing it up because I've added a little bit of moisture in there can you see that it's sort of is anyone has that happened to anyone else I'm just showing you what it's doing here it's when your paint is a little bit too dry so I'm trying to moisten it with a bit of the damp cloth here to get it further into all the crevices but it's sort of taking off some of the paint there hmm it's a bit swirly looking isn't it well that's okay it's all right the pearl would also look cute on this wouldn't it the pearl metallic all right so I'm just going to go ahead now and do my swirling on the letters I'm just using a really light touch because I do have um, the brush is a little bit damp I don't know I'm just the paint is a bit dry it's way down at the bottom of the barrel <laughs> and so it's when there's so much air in a pot like that and it's been left a long time it can start to dry out a bit so it's always a good idea to um, you can because it's a water-based product fusion mineral paint you can add a touch of water and then stir it really well I love this font for the 99 anyone else like that <clears throat> yes Laurie says it happened when I didn't let the first coat dry absolutely and I think I was talking about that earlier with the other project that we just did the patriotic one um, when you're going on for that second coat you've really got to make sure that first coat is completely dry before you do the second one so either hit it with a hairdryer or put your patience pants on <laughs> as one of the old school teachers used to say in my kids class just let's put our patience pants on <laughs> So we'll do your patient's hat. Okay, I think that's going to look great. Let me see. We're just removing this now and we're lifting up our... Yeah, and we do have a nice fuzzy wool look on our sheet there. So that's turned out quite crisp. I don't mind that. And you can see close up of the, the lamb's wool. You could do a second coat on that if you want or we can just leave it dry as is. So I'll hit that with the hairdryer and then I'll show you how we'll go over that. Now, who knows what colour we're going to do on top because we don't want to do white on the top, do we? Because white won't show through on here. <clears throat> so we're going to do that. And then I might try and touch that little, um, the little bow because the sheep is wearing, a, the lamb is wearing a bow. I might do a, a red bow. Maybe we could use the detail brushes for that. Like the lamb as it is, Jackie. I know, you could just leave the lamb just like this if you wanted to. That's one option, definitely, for sure. And look, we could use some of the other florals in our other transfers. There's some beautiful floral transfers. If you don't have the magnolia set already, I did see that there was only a few of those left, the beautiful magnolia transfers. Um, and one of the others too. Oh, I think I was I was looking at the bird cage, gorgeous vintage bird cage and florals there. I was looking at those today, and there's only a few of those transfers left too. So if you are looking for the transfers, go grab them now, and don't forget to use my code I Restore Stuff. Yes, we might be able to use one of our little tiny detail brushes to do the bow. Okay, so we are going to have to have. Yes, you could use a light grey. That would be a perfect idea. In fact, if I add a bit of 
uh, black, coal black to this white, we could do that. So let's have a look. We've got our little sheepy right here. We want to make sure that he's stuck down properly. So let's grab our tape from earlier. Rhonda, you got some more magnolias. They would be beautiful with the lamb because they're gorgeous and white, so you could do them at the sides here. <clears throat> okay, the little feet come just below there, so maybe I have to pull it up a little. It's just not quite. Hmm. I think that'll be for that'll be just right. So I'm gonna use a bit of coal black and a got a tiny bit of white here so if I actually use my where's my black brush did I have a black brush I did oh what's this one got on it that one's got pearl on it maybe I could use pearl and the black brush nah okay so I've got I haven't put anything else on this brush I'm just going to dip it right here where I've got this white paint let me see and it has made a bit of a a gray color maybe I'll just add a bit more black to that and it'll make a darker gray because I've got to have enough for this whole little lamb otherwise um, otherwise I've got to remix the same color gray if I run out <laughs> Yeah, if you don't have this one, this one's available on Essential Stencils website. Use my code iRestoreStuff. It's called, it's called He Left the 99. So that's the name of the stencil set. It's also in the description of our live and in the pinned comment. I think it was pinned. It was before, maybe not. Um, okay, so now we're just going to swirl that little bit of dark grey. If it's not as, if it's not too noticeable, with the grey we can go over it with the black. Now I haven't taped off that bow even though I want to change the bow to like a I want to change the bow to a red bow. But I'm just going over it with the grey and I'll do the see if I can do the red bow with the detail brushes. So this is just adding some flex in the wall. You could leave the lamb just perfectly white by itself or you could add these little details in there with the detail brush or the stencil brush actually using this grey and I'm just starting to run out. So I'm just going to press a little harder on these little sections in the middle because otherwise I'd have to try and balance and, and create another the same colour grey. Let me see if that's coming. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to push into those tiny, tiny stencil dot areas. So you just have to kind of pounce and then swish it around. Let's see. Oh, I think that's fine. It's worked out perfectly, guys. I love it. So here's our little lamb with all the details. So see how that adds the details with that beautiful layer right there. So that grey was a nice idea. Um, Jackie's asking what stencils are those. This is the He Left the 99 stencils. All the stencils I'm using today are in the description of the live. So when we finish live, you just hit on the description area and you'll be able to see what we've used today. <clears throat> and also in the comments, Essential Stencil, I think, has put it in the comments. Now, I wanted to go with one of these detail brushes. These come in a set of six different sizes. So this um, one, two... Three, four, five, six, all six brushes. They come in all sort of little tiny, there's pointed ones, there's uh, more uh, ones with a bit more of a flat top onto it. I don't think there's any left though right now. Somebody just told me that they were out of stock. So if you do see those on the website and you do want some more, please hit the little button that next to the product that says, um, please let me know when these come back in stock. And that lets Essential Stencil know, hey, I'm interested in these, but you don't have any right now, so please tell me when they're back in stock. All right, we're finished with the grey. I will pop that in my water. 
And I'm just going to go over this with our little detail brush to create a nice fun red bow. I'm just going to drop that down the side here to make sure I haven't got too much on my brush. And it's a matter of filling in the lines here. And this is Fusion's colour Fort York Red. which can often be a little bit um, translucent because of the high, high pigment content. And um, so you may have to do two coats on the red bow. Let me know, have you used any layered stencils yet? Let me know. Hey, don't forget guys to stay right through to the end because we do give away prizes to three lucky winners. We'll get $20 gift voucher from Essential Stencil. <clears throat> Just hang out here in the conversation. Join in because that's where they'll be picking the winners from. <clears throat> Yeah, just these um, detail brushes, you just need to swish them in a little bit of water. Great tip there from Cheryl, was it? <coughs> no, Bonnie. You don't put them in a container of water because that will bend the ends of them. So you just have to swish them in a bit of water and the paint comes straight out. There's no need to just sit them in water at all. Whereas with my larger furniture painting brushes, I sit them or hang them in a bit of water. So it's better if they're suspended in the water. Um, but not the tiny detail brushes. They're really, the paint comes out so nice and easily from them. And there we've got a nice little red bow. That's very, it just make, gives it a nice finished touch. Just going over that with another coat there and I like the way that it does have the grey outline so that you can fill it in. You could create, put any colour you like on that really. Oop, I got some on the edge of my... I went outside the lines guys. Oh well. And someone said I wish I had that before. Easter to do that design. Yeah, well, you'll be a head start for next Easter if you get it now. <laughs> Plenty of time to do some more crafting before next year. Now's a great time to grab this Easter bundle stuff too. There is, I think, an Easter bundle set still available, like a Easter favourites bundle. So often now is a great time to catch that at a really good price. Don't forget to use my code iRestoreStuff because then you get even more discount, a further 10% off the already discounted bundle. So if you just look up Easter bundle on Essential Senses website, I'm pretty sure there are still some bundles left of Easter things. And then you'll be all set for next Easter. There you go. Isn't that just the cutest little... Thing. Okay, so I've just swished that off and all clean again, ready to go for next. Okay, let's have a look at what we did today. And oh, I finished early, guys. My goodness, sometimes I think, am I going to get all these projects done in time? Well, I didn't spend a lot of time this morning doing the backgrounds. So let's have a little look. I will pop you up so I can see you and see any winners that we've got. We're going to be picking some winners soon, so don't forget to... Um, oh, I feel like we're a little bit crooked. Um, don't forget to join in the conversation. We are picking winners very soon. Essential Stencil will come on and pick some winners. Oh my goodness, my little stand is not holding up. If you missed the beginning of our live, don't forget to go back and watch the replay because there is another chance to win if you comment the word replay during that the 24 hours after we've gone live so winners are shared oh no winner winner shared <laughs> Jackie did you share or did you say that there's winners there oh thank you Vic 
Thank you, thank you. So guys, if there are any questions on any of the projects that we've done today, or if you have any stenciling questions, don't forget to um, ask in the comments because I do love to go back and answer those, or we have some helpful people in the comments who love to answer those. So for this one, oops, let me just stand up and show you. That's a metallic background. So you can see that shimmering there. It's a pearl metallic and um, you can see that is Fusion Mineral Paint Pearl Metallic. So don't forget to use my code iRestoreStuff and you can get 10% off um, for the Fusion Mineral Paint or you can get 10% off for sure with Essential Stencil on any of the products that I've used today or anything on their site. That includes brushes as well. So there's our little lamb. He left the 99 to rescue me. So let me know if you do see our winners being announced. And I did talk to you earlier about that we left the scripture verse off the bottom because it didn't fit on our sign. So what you could do is you could pop it up there on the side, but I don't think it really needs it. What do you think? I don't think it actually needs it. Or we could put it over this side like Matthew and then put the 1812 underneath it. But what do you guys think? I don't think we have to have the reference. <coughs> Most people who know that verse know that it came from the Bible. So yeah, the metallic is a nice touch. And so don't forget that patriotic bundle is dropping April 4th. So that's next week after Easter. So we're on Thursday. It's Good Friday here today, tomorrow for me. Um, you guys have got another two days to wait, but I'm in Australia. So I'm a ahead of you by a day. Becky, we're still live. So you haven't got the replay just yet. So we're just looking for our winners. There are our winners now. Let me see if I can see them. I can't see them down there. I'll have to look on my phone. Congrats, our winners are Holly Adams Gerhart, Della Warren, Kel Driscoll Lowe. So Holly, Della, and Kelly. Oh my goodness, that's three names with double L's in them. I don't know if Essential Stencil's playing a game and did that on purpose and trying to like find <laughs> three names that have double L in them, but that's funny. Holly, Della, and Kelly. It makes gives me a little bit of a tongue twister. So if you're a winner on today's live, let them know uh, by emailing that email address that they said you've been, uh, hopefully you've been tagged as a winner and let them know you were a winner on Sharon's live today and let them know where to send their email, the gift card to because there's a $20 gift card coming to you. So those are the two projects we've worked on today. Patriotic, God shed his grace on me and he left the 99 to rescue me. So I hope you enjoyed doing those and found some inspiration to do some more. DIY projects yourself. Thanks again. Everybody, please have a wonderful, safe and happy Easter. Enjoy spending time with family and friends. And remember, Jesus is the reason for that season. Bye.